Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is A. Milita. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lydia. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. Someone is already back into your space, in your spirit. Hallelujah. Someone is back in your space, in the spirit. You've been trying to feel someone that uh, you parted ways with. Beloved, their presence is around you right now. And they are coming back to set record straight. Glory to God. Someone is coming back. Oh, it's already back in the spirit. They are already someone is already connected to us to you in the spirit. Uh, not that they have been trying to get their ways into your life. Not that they've been. It's like there was there was a little misunderstanding and things went sour. But. Either it's, it could be vice versa, like either you've been thinking about someone or uh, like returning to someone or someone has been th thinking of returning to you, but there is this already connection, right? God has really brought a connection once more again in the spirit and they are coming like you are willing to fight for someone or someone willing to fight for you this moment, hallelujah. It's going to be like, let's see what happens again. But beloved, it will depend on you if you want to accept this or not. You must not accept it. You must not think about someone and you go back to them. You must, someone must not think about you and come back to you and accept them. It's a matter of choice. It is a matter of choice this season. This season God's requiring, God's requesting you to make a decision. Either to go back and fix things or move on. I know some people say, no, I, just, I want to move on. No, I, I just want to move on. I, I don't want to stay. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not in your place. It's not. It's not in your place to end a divine relationship if God has not said so. No, no one can say a thing or do. Uh, and no, no one can say a thing and it comes to pass if God has not confirmed it. God has, God has not accepted it. If God has said that you're going to be going back to, to someone, to someone, no matter how you resist it, it's going to happen. If the Lord says to someone that they're going to return to you, and no matter how they resist, it's going to happen. No one has the power. No one has the power to stop God's plan. It's not possible, beloved. Because God always has a way of forcing someone to honor his word, to answer. Sometimes we think that we can outsmart God. We can, uh, you know, we can, like, yeah, outsmart God. We can compromise with God. No, like... God will just understand. Some people like, no, don't. I, I, I won't do it. God would understand. God would not understand whatever that He has decreed that He must do. God requires people to do it. God requires someone to do something. God would not understand if God has said this is what's going to happen. It's going to happen, anyways. No matter how the enemy tries to fight against it, no matter how someone tries to fight against it by, by themselves, no matter how someone tries to tries tries to to. Um, to reason our things out with God, to plead to God, to like, oh God, please, I really don't want this anymore. I want someone else. I want something else. If God has not accepted, whatever he had decreed in the spirit must surely come to pass. That is the truth. People don't like truth. When we speak truth, they come against us. Oh, you are speaking rubbish. Oh, you are talking this. Oh, you are spying people's lives. We are not spying people's lives. We feel these things. We see these things. We understand this thing in the spirit. You can do it as people can do it as well. It is normal. In the last days, I shall put my spirit upon all flesh. Both men and women shall dream these dreams. They shall see vision. People don't even need to even talk to you when it comes to certain things because you, 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 you your discernment is people's people, people discernment are becoming so, so, so high up that they know things, they, they understand, they feel things before they happen. It is common, it is normal. And it is for everybody. God works with seasons and times, God gives, gives messages in seasons and times. God, God has already set his standard in the, in, the, in the realm of the spirit. Whether we like it or not, things go according to how God has planned. That's, that's, that's fact. So why people come against us? Oh, you are spying on someone's life. Oh, you are doing it. No. God reveals these things to his children to prepare them for the future. To, to give them hope. To encourage them. 
to build them up, to alert them. God's words, God, God, God's word is true, beloved. And it is just on time and right on time. His words never delays. It's almost like exact, exact in the spirit. So for those who are vigilant, those who have devoted themselves to hear from God, those who have devoted them, have, have opened their spirit to, to understand God, they do. They, 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 really, they, they are really in sync. They are really on point. They are, they are in line with the will of God for the planet and humanity. So, I digress, right? Hallelujah. Let me come back to what I was saying. God is saying that in the spirit he has united you and someone of the past. There is an unfinished business in the spirit that has to take place. No matter how they try to resist it, it will happen. No matter how you try to resist it, it's going to happen. No matter how people fight against the coming together, it's going to happen regardless. So expect someone showing up again. And please, we should not say, I don't want anyone, anyone of the past. It's not, it's not people's making. It is God's will to set his course, to fulfill his purpose, to fulfill his plan. Let us, please, let, we need to, we, sometimes we, we need to surrender and just relax and allow, and allow God to do his work in our lives. Please. God bless you. I love you. But Christ loves you even more. Faith is our vehicle, is our strength. See you in the next. Hallelujah.